Me, uh, me and a few colleague, colleagues did have a gallery at one point. Oh, um, okay. Downtown, yeah. It was like a, our own personal gallery workshop. Um, that was like five years ago, I want to say. It's, you know, we had it for like a couple of years, but, you know, artists being artists, um, you know, people had to move and go and pursue different things. So yeah. um, we just decided to shut it down at the time. But no, it was a fun experience. <clears throat> what did you do with this at this gallery? So um, there was four of us, and we called ourselves, or we called the gallery the uh, Dwell Collective. Um, that's D W E L L. Okay. Um, might be able to, might have a website of sports still. I'm not sure if you want some more information, but um, there was four of us, and we all had our different um, creative paths there. You know, either painting or illustration, um, and then of course, you know, uh, subject matter. Um, some of us worked together, like doing, uh, you know, large, large murals uh, on buildings and stuff like that, and street art. Um, some of us were more dedicated to, uh, like, studio art. Um, but we basically just had our, as our own personal gallery for the four of us to produce and display our own work. Yeah. Um, which was nice, but it was also, you know, like a working gallery too. So we had like this collaborative um, aspect where we could be working at the same time as our buddies and be able to see what they're doing and like learn from them and trade tips and tricks and techniques so it was a cool um cool experience what happened i, I definitely felt a lot of uh technical growth while i worked there okay. um just because it was just so easy to look over and be like hey how, how do you do that you know uh -huh. and be able to apply that to something i'm working on so not only a gallery but it was also like a working space for all of you yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was, that was another kind of like a, a little bit of a draw because like people would come in, you know, walk around and there would usually be at least one of us, if not all four of us, working on something at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they could uh, observe us uh, creating. Okay. It, it, so you said it lasted for like five. The reason I'm asking is because I've had a space, I had a very similar idea and I've had a space for three years now that I can't get into because a building started being constructed next door, like a restaurant started gutting out the entire area. And basically yeah. I got into the place. It's an old 1930s train car, the entire oh, thing. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> and so I was excited to do that. I wanted to do a very similar thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We got in there and plus I also collect and sell um, uh, vintage toys and games and books. And oh, stuff. nice. Awesome. That's another uh, side passion of mine but <laughs> yeah so i was gonna do all this stuff in there and then i was in there for like a month and one day they came in and they're like hey we're digging a basement and it's starting to collapse and we're afraid this train is gonna fall in oh, <laughs> so i had to get out of there and then it just they're like it's gonna be three months and then three months later it's gonna be three months and then blah blah blah, oh, blah. Yeah. next yeah. thing you know my three COVID. release is up and I, oh, yeah and covid happened too but like right. this was this was two and a half years ago that they told me that they were digging and then COVID <sighs> happened. I oh, never man. got to get into the place. And now I'm going, ugh, since I had to move online with everything anyway, I'm kind of like, right. do I even pursue it anymore? But listening to you talk about this, it's like, yes, but I still want to do that. I want to build a working space and yeah, have people I mean, come in, like even while you're working, just be open. Um, I mean, I'm certain like, even if, you know, if those guys that um, have their different things to pursue or, you know, like say like two of them moved one of them literally moved all the way across the country to Portland. Um, eventually, another yeah. guy moved uh, to the coast, um, and uh, the, another guy moved, you know, about a couple hours away. But um, had that not happened, I think we might still be open today, or you know, you know, it might be interesting to see how um, the place would have evolved too, what it could have come into. Yeah. So you're saying <clears throat> it was just because somebody moved or people were moving that you closed it. It wasn't just like, all right, this is getting way too expensive. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, like. It was, um, it would have been too much to uh, financial strain to try and for one one artist to try and manage, considering the space and the rent that we had to pay. It was easy to break that up into you know four different ways each month. Right. Um, but um, had, like say if I was doing it by myself, it would just been like a a hobby because I can. The town's pretty small. and only get so much traffic that's based on tourist traffic. Really. Yeah. The, the retail area here, and it wouldn't just been like you know breaking even each month I suspect okay um, but you know it was um, it was a it was a, it was a fun experiment <laughs> right and um, you know I don't have anything uh, negative to say about it 
Well, good. I wasn't looking for that for sure. I mean, of course, mm. I want to hear positive. No, of course not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. Everything, everything came up Craig, so to speak. <laughs> it <laughs> was beautiful, that. and we all became millionaires. Is basically, mm-hmm. yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm.